So if you just got your first 3D printer, you might be a little bit confused. So in this video, I'll make it super easy for you. So here we have what I think might be the best beginner 3D printer, the Bamboo Lab A1, it's brand new. And if you do get this exact printer, I have a setup video that I'll link below. So you've probably seen a 3D printer work before, but basically it extrudes this plastic material out of the nozzle right here to make a three-dimensional object. So when you get a 3D printer, after setting it up, the first thing you'll need to do is load the filament. So this is a spool of 3D printer filament. And these are Bamboo Lab spools that are reusable. And I have a video on exactly how to use these spools as well. I'll link it below. So we'll go ahead and go here. And this printer is really easy to load new filament. You just go ahead and click load and it will heat up the nozzle to about 100 or 250 Celsius. Now, if we go up here, we just put the filament spool onto the spool holder and we feed the material into the Bowden tube like so. And you can see it going through the Bowden tube and now it's at the nozzle and now we have to push the new filament into the extruder and you should feel it start to grab and it should start to extrude. And on this printer right here, the Bamboo Lab A1, it extrudes the filament onto what I call the purge flinger. And it literally just flings the purge material off the side. All right, and that's how easy it is to load your own filament into a printer. So after you load your first spool of filament or the sample material that comes with your printer, the first thing you want to do is print a test piece, which is called a Benchy. So Benchy is basically a standard benchmark 3D print that you could use to test your printer. And if you've watched any 3D printing videos before, you've probably seen people print these Benchies. And this file here on the Bamboo Lab A1 is a speedboat Benchy, uh, which basically shows how fast your 3D printer can print. And this printer can print in about, this boat right here, in about 15 minutes, which may sound slow, um, but it's very fast compared to what 3D printers used to be even two or three years ago. So after you 3D print your Benchy, if it looks good, then you could go ahead and print whatever files you want. Now, many 3D printers nowadays have an app that you can print directly from. This makes it extremely easy. So for example, I could just find a model right here and you could select it and click prepare to print. And now all you have to do is select which printer you have. So I have the A1 here and you just go to print and you can verify here. It wants you to use PLA basic. PLA is the standard easiest material to print with check your build plate and the nozzle uh, diameter. Uh, everything default is normally good and you just go ahead and click print now. But what if you wanna print something custom like this worm gear phone stand? So this is a 3D Printer Academy original design and it's available on the 3D Printer Academy website. So what you'll do is you'll go to the website and yes, this is a shameless plug of my custom designs and this is actually one of my favorite designs. So I can search this one here by typing in worm gear phone stand and it shows up. So once you go through the checkout process, you can go ahead and download the STL. So 3D models on the computer for 3D printing are called STL files. So once you go ahead and download that STL file, you can open your slicer. And in this case, I'm using Bamboo Studio. And a slicer is where you can prepare your 3D model for 3D printing. Now, remember how we went onto the app and printed a model directly from there? Well, those models are pre-sliced, which is very convenient. If you download 3D models other places, you'll have to do this process and slice them. So here is basically the 3D printer's build plate. And you can go ahead and select which type of printer you have. So now you go ahead and drag the file onto the slicer. So here we can see the object on our slicer. And what a slicer does is if we click slice plate right here and we leave everything as default because most of the time default settings are great and we drag the slider down, we can see exactly what the 3D printer will print. So once you've sliced your 3D model in your slicer, you can go ahead and click print plate and select the printer that you want to print from. And then all you have to do is go ahead and click send. Now, after waiting about three and a half hours, you should have an object that looks just like this and it should work. 
If you're brand new to 3D printing or if you just want to learn more things, head over to 3dprinteracademy.com where you can find a bunch of free resources as well as some unique STL designs. And I also have some articles about the best 3D printers that you could get. For example, the best bed slinger or maybe the best 3D printer in general is the brand new Bamboo Lab A1 right here. It's only $2.99 and you can read all about it on this article. You can check out some news and interviews. Here's the interview with the Bamboo Lab CEO. It's very interesting. And you can even learn some uh, basic 3D printing tips and tricks like how to modify STLs, as well as a bunch of resources on 3D modeling. So once again, that's 3dprinteracademy.com. My name is Steven. Thanks for watching and happy printing.